Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Mysterious JG, and it looks like we're going to do some cattle rustling with Uncle. Um, we got to go find him first, but, um... Yes, Mr. Morgan? You okay? All of you turned him against me! Okay. Not going to follow up on that. Doesn't look like the romance between Dutch and Molly is going without incident. Arthur, get over here. I need you to rustle some cattle with me. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you well, I didn't have this problem with Lenny last cows. time. Whose cows? It's drunken rancher up a hill. Like literally, Lenny led us into a trap, and we got shot out and got almost no money out of it, and we were totally cool with it. Haven Ranch, he's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, yeah, all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, well, that's I know. true. Yeah. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60%. They were the mean to our uh, Hispanic friend. I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. Let <laughs> me <laughs> just walk right through this horse's body. Okay, let's mount up. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Okay, where are you going, Uncle? So where's this ranch? Right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turn off. Okay. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. But not at his now bar, which offends him. His from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around? After everything that happened, well, Uncle wasn't really involved. I mean, it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. That's true. They'd never reckon on a distinguished old fella like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you? Eleven to seven, indeed. It'll well, be years. Born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she and did leave for a young Durr, man. Mm. Well, maybe we should cut you open. Count the rings of whiskey. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you, you've been pretty much retired from the moment I met. Yeah, this is the same I grief that John Marson always a gave him. Deal. What the Dutch is talking about? I don't know why I'm shocked by that. I mean, apparently it's consistent in his character that he's a bit of a blowhard. He doesn't back any of it up. But, um... Yeah, at least with Marston, like, he left Uncle in charge of this farm. Uh, that Uncle didn't do anything with the farm while he was gone, so he was mad at him. But, like, here it's like, yeah... There's a lot of folks in the camp whose, uh, so contribution I haven't been able to figure out. Get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. And I believe I see it. Atmosphere with music. Atmosphere with music. Atmosphere. Oh, never mind. It's not. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't Why? The horses clopping around outside the window. But we're oh, going to be mo removing the cattle. You think that's going to be silent? You don't think there'll be any mooing? Or hoof clomping of cows? Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. We don't have to go through with this. We can back out now. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up. And be quiet. Ow. You 
said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Why did you actually play a fiddle? What's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. That ain't one. You're like a metaphor. You're like a metaphor. That's a simile. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. Why to KO these guys? You hear that? Turn around. Shit. Put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? I'm gonna rob you. Nothing. You know, we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One. Two, Let's go. Three. Four. Come on. Real Whoa. slow four and a half. That's pretty straightforward. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake I'll up. Him we out. ain't seen him yet. Hide up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. All right, guys. I'm gonna encourage you to leave the pen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Whoop whoop! Up. Oh, it's like a variation on the cattle. Maneuvering games from Red Dead Redemption 1. Or again, it's like they didn't really. They, they made it mandatory for two missions, but. They didn't really do a whole hell of a lot with it overall. So those two rustlers were just there to give us some kind of tension. Oh, I missed it. So I guess Uncle was actually right so far. Turn around there. What Come on. Doing? Trying to get a perfect score in this cattle rustling minigame. Why do we always attempt to move cattle when there's a thunderstorm going on? We have to stop them from stampeding off a cliff now? We didn't get as much tutorial. I don't know if this is working the same way as it did in the last game, where you kind of got to move back and forth to keep them going the right way. If they'll start to wander off in different to the sides a little bit. But that one at the front seems to know exactly where we're supposed to be going. At least we're acting like he does. Try to maintain a consistent speed behind the herd. Don't trample from behind. Okay, I'll try not to, I guess. Giddy up or mosey on along or whatever. Yeah, I mean, so far this mission's gone. We've used one bullet. It's gone exactly according to plan. How far are we away from where we need to go? We're pretty damn close to the objective point here. I don't know what last second complications could arise, but, uh. uh, uh. Whoop whoop. We 
got one cow that doesn't want to go in. You guys are just totally cool with stealing an entire uh, farm's herd. Okay, finally. The game was confused there for a minute. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Who's cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you... Uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. I didn't bring my Hispanic with me. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> Shooting should be extra. Clyde, pay your friend here. Hmm. 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 I'm making fun of the mute guys. Be careful nice. out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. It was sure, actually. Yes. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. I'm gonna have the light suddenly and inexplicably change on my face. This, Thanks for the help, big man. Is there something I did wrong? No. Not to say we got all of them. We intimidated the guys without having to kill anyone. I don't know why we're not riding home with Uncle, frankly, but um, apparently we're not. Oh. There's a new stranger mission. Henri Lemieux. Well, since we're apparently not riding over to uh, home anyway, and apparently this cattle rustling mission, which was optional, seems to have opened this up. Alright, whatever. I don't really understand what that was about. But let's head, uh, let's head to this other side mission. Let's uh, do side missions, prioritize side missions over the... Um, main story. And that way, when I get to the end of the main story, which is going to be a long LP, I won't feel any great obligation to play the post-game. Even though, from what I understand, post-game could be... Let's show them how free men do some killing. Uh... Oh. I saw a white dot. I thought maybe one of the people there was friendly, but it I think it was just the white dot represented the overall encounter. And those are just those crazy racist dudes. They're mad because I ended up being nicer to Lenny, uh, who got me freaking set up and almost killed, than I was to Uncle, whose plan actually went as smoothly as he said it was. Although, you know, we were perfectly civil to Uncle at the end of that mission. It was kind of a make good. I mean, you know, everything he said was right. It came to pass. We didn't get a ton of money. But it was, um, you know, for our gang of outlaws, it was fairly low risk, and uh, it worked. Lenny, on the other hand, uh, almost got us killed for very little money. Is Lenny a bad person? Well, yeah, actually, probably is, because uh, he's riding with our gang of murderers. But what I meant was that, like, no, L Lenny's moral failures did not cause that mission to be a setup that went poorly for us. But, um, yeah, it's kind of nice that we actually were semi-decent to Uncle when he did good. And by good, I mean bad. He helped us to set up a robbery of a guy who did nothing to deserve it. These bridges are sometimes a place for a ambush. Not this time, but I was prepared to go full sprint with the horse in case Lemoy Raiders jumped out on the other end of that bridge. They have done that other gang, the uh, O'Driscolls, have done that before.
And another video may come down primarily to writing from one objective, one mission start point to another. Or rather, a mission end point to a mission start point. I don't know, does your life consist of non-stop action, or do you sometimes spend time going between one place and another where things are going to happen to you? If only Arthur could listen to podcasts while he was uh, doing his commute. Okay, so our horse is getting pretty, uh, pretty annoyed and tired here. Get lost? Oh, I was just being friendly. I guess our horse was in a race since the last time we fed him. Go easy, boy. And there's something on the map uh, that is... Oh, that probably actually is the... Might be Henry Lemont, Lemu, Guardian Lemu. We're back that way, whatever. Four o'clock in the morning, we're just gonna wander right into town and start going, hey there, mister. Sufficiently early in the morning that to me, if I'm ever up at four o'clock, it definitely still feels like the night before. I guess it's kind of reasonable, like, you know, if the sun ain't up yet, it's night. Oh, I guess I can't climb over that fence. There's probably a better way to get in here. Okay, that apparently is not the door. Hi there, mister. I might not even get to go into the building. I might be talking to somebody right outside. Or not. Or just knocking on the door is the mission beginning point. Hey there, mister. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. The Please, Little People uh, Nation? Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. <laughs> Democracy. Quite. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. I really enjoy that line. Mr. Kilgore, was it? Uh, I forget. <laughs> hello. Because he doesn't know what the hell he was, he was using before. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. I love you being are not robbed. a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Thesitus. Speak to me about nice things, they I'm sure. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Oh, of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We're well, not savages, merely Frenchmen. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm Put sure. Put fear of death into somebody. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, Dead art. bodies. Oh. And how do you buy art? I don't know. 
I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this Normally the French are able to tell. A little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps I can tell what this is going on. Can come on. be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a Don't little... Don't tell me the guy's literally being held in the mansion and they brought Suddenly us in to torture him like because nobody else is available. Alright, well, it'll be a beat guy up mission. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Oh, I have to drive? Why do I have to drive? As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even. Well, though you've seen my beastly I face with my. A monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, mm. there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Zing. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have truly brought democracy. Working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> would that into jeopardy? Well, it's democracy, Opinions right? Can, change. can they not? I don't know. Tell me what time. to think. Of course. Power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Another reason Good. word for it is craisins. You do not look so much like a rhetorician. I was trying to greet but, you, but uh, it just caused me to go off course. Looks can be deceiving. The mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. I can grow a lot of facial hair. Hey, partner. Go to hey the there, right partner. Here. Good morning, morning mister. I want to bring his attention to ourselves from as yeah, many as possible before uh, What's going on we beat up again. What's going on? Respond. Apparently, my controller is almost out of juice, so great. There, Mr. Arthur. There. No. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Hmm. Professor Shitface. Is that on his driver's license? <laughs> I guess I can't just beat him up with uh, no cause because he uh, hasn't been espousing racist views. If I could, if he did, I could literally tie him up and leave him in the middle of the street. No problem. Apparently I don't have to follow from a safe distance. He's got enough spook meter. Okay, I guess I do. I just hadn't gotten close enough to set off his spook meter yet. Oh, she, I thought it was Professor Shitface. I'm pretty sure that's the, meant to be the joke. Professor? Excuse me. Oh, hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. Brazen, I say. That's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. Well, I painted some of them, old masters. That's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. But I couldn't. My reputation. This is not really being much of a challenge, gameplay-wise. How about your reputation now? I'm Relento. Okay, he just said he relented. There. You see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So 
You're helping me, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very... Reminds me of my uh, five-year-old niece. Don't make me get mad at you, Uncle JG. She doesn't call me JG. But she did at one point say, don't make me get mad at you. Be right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. No, New Haven's a shitty town. I don't want to go there. Very good, Professor. Very good. Eh, whatever. The side quests don't seem to involve a whole lot of uh, gameplay challenge sometimes. I was really hoping that gate would open and it wasn't going to be some kind of maze to return to the game. Good well, morning to you. Have a great day beating up art critics. How about you? So, turns out all those paintings were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. It's um, blue chew. I don't know why it's so bad. But... Wish I could read. Fifteen dollars. Mayor Saint Denis and Mr. Lemieux needs help persuading our critic that the paintings in the museum are genuine. This will continue at a later time. All right, well, good. Morning. Morning, dude. Arriving at the old quarter. Well, my horse is really, really far away, but otherwise, everything's going according to plan. Up on my court horse, <clears throat> call it a video. Vaguely wondering how much uh, is left to do side quest wise. There we go. Okay, fella. So, just for benefit of knowing what the next video is going to be about, we got any more side quests in Saint Denis? Does not look like we do. The uh, Johnny uh, Longbones uh, Native American Revenge Against the uh, Oil Company's quest isn't going anywhere either. So it looks like we're going to be back towards uh, intending to do the Dutch Vanderland mission and waiting to find out what side quests are going to become available as soon as we get back into our camp. I don't have a problem with it. I'm enjoying these little uh, side uh, excursions uh, to hang out with our friends and the gang. It reminds me a little bit of my favorite part by far of, like, I really enjoyed the first, eh, I don't know, call it like quarter, maybe less, of uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where you're like actually a gangbanger hanging out with like these voice acted characters of, um, you know, your brother who's kind of occasionally hostile to you and your sister who's occasionally hostile to you, but you're also hanging out with like, uh, Big Smoke, and I forget the other guy's name. Uh, that's actually fun. And then, uh, spoilers for a you know, 10-plus-year-old game, I suppose. Eventually, you have fall out with most of the people who are your allies early and spend a lot of the game trying to get in a position to reassert your power in San Andreas. And I didn't enjoy that nearly as much as the beginning of the game, where you're just hanging around with your friends, committing crimes. It's crime time. But um, that's kind of what this game is degenerated into when we're not um, rolling headlong towards what is ultimately sure to be the violent end of our hopes and dreams. <laughs> Looking forward to that, folks. We'll move a little bit closer next time. Bye-bye.